It's time for the season four finale. I'm so fucking excited. I managed to find Glenn. I still haven't unpacked all my stuff from uni. I've been back for like a month. Whoops. But yeah, I managed to have a dig around and fished him out so he could join us to watch the last episode of season four. It's been a hell of a season. Ups and downs. Lots of emotions. But I'm really excited to see how this second half in particular pays off. Because we've had everyone be separated. And now it's time, hopefully it's time anyway, for them to all come together at Terminus. See what this place is like. Possibly deal with this new group that Daryl's with and their conflict with Rick. Maybe learn where the fuck Beth's gone. Because we haven't seen her for a couple of episodes. But yeah, I'm just really, really banking on some more reunions because this guy reuniting with his wife in the last one was incredible. And I'm interested in seeing all these new characters we've met kind of meet each other for the first time. You know, how's Abraham going to get along with Rick or Daryl, you know? I'm interested in those kind of interactions, so hopefully we'll get some of those. But you know, it's a season finale. I think it's going to be pretty exciting, nonetheless. And it's called A, just A, which really intrigues me. I've never been so curious to know what an episode title is all about before. So, yeah, season finale, let's go. Oh, is this a prison flashback? Missed this so much. How I yearn for the prison days when everyone was together and alive. Oh fuck. Take out this is present day now. Rick's very bloody. Oh no, what's happened? Oh no. We're gonna tell them who we are. But how do you say that? I mean, who are we? And we grams. And we kill things. Okay. Badasses, that's who you are. This is just a simple slip knot. Tie one on both bands and tie one side to a branch. Slip knot, I loved him in Suicide Squad. He's got so much screen time. The trail? Just run! Oh, oh, ow! 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 Oh! Well then. Morning. Everything okay? Yeah. Seeing her so much so emotional. What time is it? I never know what time it is anymore. Ever since I gave Lynn my watch, it's always right now to me. It's early. And he still fucking got it. I like to talk about food. Is that what this feels like? Me too. Maybe this place isn't even there anymore. Oh, dearie me. You screwed oh. up, asshole. You hear me? You screwed up. Just gonna reunite with Daryl. Oh. 
Here we go. Here we go. Today is the day of reckoning, sir. Restitution. A balancing of the whole damn universe. <laughs> Shit, and I was thinking of turning in for the night on New Year's Eve. <laughs> now, who's going to count down the ball dropper with me, huh? Ten Mississippi. Nine Mississippi. Eight Mississippi. Go. Hold up. You're stopping me on eight, Carol. Just hold up. This is the guy that killed Lou, so we got nothing to talk about. The thing about nowadays is we got nothing but time. Say your piece, Dale. These people, you're gonna let them go. These are good people. Now, I, I, I think Lou would disagree with you on that. I'll, of course, have to speak for him and all, because your friend here strangled him in the bathroom. Come on, get out! Oh, just kill him all. Come on. Come on. Let's see what you got. Well, the guy who seems to be all about respect, he really should just, like, get revenge on Rick and leave the others. Oh! Fuck! That was really high-pitched, I'm sorry. You just rip out his throat. Fuck me. I still probably the taste is merely done in a while. Well, there you go. I thought they would get to terminus before that storyline came to a head, but there you are. Oh, Rick, stop now. Shit. Here. Oh, Herschel, I miss you so much. What is? Those feral pigs in the forest? Well, that's what happened to Rick then. Fucking ripped the guy's throat out. Kind of glad though. They were getting to the point of pantomime villains. All that cackling and stuff was like, man. How's it bad? We got out together. I was with her for a while. She did. She's just gone. Where the fuck is she? You're my brother. Oh. Character development. There are moments where you think Carl's so grown up and then they have shots of him like lying in Michonne's lap like that and you remember that he is still just a kid. You okay? Oh, I love it when I read too much into the show. Mike and Terry, they were high when it happened. They were bit. Could have stopped it. Could have killed him. But I let them turn. They were your pets, weren't they? I made it so they couldn't bite, they couldn't scratch. Yeah. I tied chains around my necks. Filling in the gaps. I was gone for a long time. But then Andrea brought me back. Your dad brought me back. You did. I see.
see how you've been looking at your dad. You don't have to be afraid of me. I am. He told me the other day that he was proud of me. That I was a good man. I'm not. If you're scared of being a monster, then I don't think you are one. And though we told him not to let the world spoil him, I don't think he has. You hear it, Ravas? No. Alright. Turn down the sass. We wanted yeah. to see you before you saw us. Makes sense. Usually we do this where the tracks meet. <clears throat> Welcome to Terminus. Oh shit. What the hell did you just watch? No. The guy who died of the. Fitted very wild. Let's have some of that to be Shoot me. We were all people. He didn't answer the question. So confused right now. Didn't all go there just to get killed, did they? If they're dead, I'm fucking pissed. That was like skeletons and stuff, though, wasn't it? Oh, holy shit! People. Like a cult or something. I don't think they're trying to kill us. No, they're right their feet. There. What the fuck? Yeah. I'm so confused. Oh, A! I had A written on the thing. Is that the episode called? There's a lot of the fuckers, give them that. Even if they're all like freaks. Ringleader, go to your left. The train car, go. Hey. You do hey. what we say, the boy goes with you. Anything else, he dies, and you end up in there anyway. <sighs> you just taste we're gonna be fucking dodgy. What is happening? My son! Go, kid. Ringleader, open the door and go in. I'll go in with him. Don't make us kill him now! These assholes need to die. It's 
It's like a bit of others in there as well. Right? It is! You're here. You're here. I suppose stop wearing the hat. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> it can be like this all the time. They're gonna feel pretty stupid when they find out. Find out what? What? They're fucking with the wrong people. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, that was a good finale. Not my favourite. Um, I think that's mainly because I didn't see everything I wanted to see. I'd probably like it more rewatching it knowing what to expect. I just thought the reunion would be more of a happy thing, but it's The Walking Dead I should have known. So it didn't have quite the emotional punch I expected it to. I kind of guessed Timbers was going to be pretty dodgy. And considering there was like a pile of like skulls and bones and shit, I'm guessing there's some dodgy shit going on. We didn't see Carol, Tyrese and Judith and all that. So, you know, Rick didn't find out Judith's still alive. We didn't see Carol and all that reunite with them all. Which I was really hoping to see. Because I thought that's what this second half of the season was building up to. So it's kind of disappointing that that didn't happen. But hopefully that will happen next season. I did quite like the resolution with, you know, the people Daryl was with who Rick killed one of in the house a few episodes back. That was a nice little confrontation. Yeah, a bit light on the action. I would have liked a bit more action spread throughout. We got pretty much all of it at the end, which wasn't bad. I don't know, it just felt like something was missing with this one, I think. But obviously they've done it as set up for next season to end on a cliffhanger, so it doesn't really feel complete, which does make sense. And that last line, Rick saying, they're fucking with the wrong people. I don't think they've ever said fucking on the show before. That was pretty cool. Definitely a really good end to the season, that line. I liked that a lot. Um, you know, we did see this whole new group come together. And it does get me very excited to see where they're going to go next with that. My favourite scene was probably the chat Carl and Michonne had in the forest. As they were going to go inside Terminus where Michonne really opened up to him and Carl was scared that he was a monster now. Oh, Glenn's gone again. Sorry, Glenn. Could just have a nap. Um, but yeah, I love that scene. Very well acted, very well written. And it does show how far both those characters have come. And I always like it when they like reflect on the characters' journeys. The flashbacks were good, they were interesting. I love seeing Herschel again. But... I don't feel like we needed them. But I appreciated them nonetheless. And also, we only saw Beth in flashbacks, so we still don't know where she is. Even if we just got like one scene, like showing her locked up somewhere, just so we had an inkling that something was going to happen with her. So I'm disappointed we didn't get that either. I just think... I expected this season to be tied up with a bit more of a bow than it was. I feel like previous seasons had more satisfying endings and a lot of the plot points were a bit more resolved than this season. 
I mean, not that it's a bad thing, because now we have, you know, expectations and story for to continue in season five. But I would like just a bit more, even just some teases, you know, just showing Carol and all that walking up to Terminus, just getting a glimpse of Beth. But nonetheless, it was still a very good finale. Solid. And some really interesting setup for next season. I'm very excited to see where they're going to go with this Terminus storyline now. And, you know, the gang is pretty much back together. So that's very exciting. I've loved season four. It's been fantastic. I've really loved the second half of it as well. I did enjoy the first half a lot, actually, with the governor coming back and then them getting rid of him, Herschel. I definitely don't think we had as many major deaths this season as we've had in the past. So that's good for my heart. I just wanted a bit more from that finale, I think. But I think the emotional punches might come next season. So yeah, season four is done. Crazy. So that was actually the end of the box set that I bought years ago. Never got around to watching, then decided to fill these reactions. So that's that. I did actually buy season five a couple of weeks ago. So I've got that ready to start right away. And then as I get nearer the end of that, I'll buy season six on DVD. And yeah, soon enough we'll be all caught up. I'll get to the end of season seven. I don't know if I'll be caught up by the time season eight starts. I think that might be quite unlikely. We'll just have to wait and see. I mean, I am going to have a lot of free time. But now I'm back in Swindon, it takes a lot longer to get time to be able to record videos and to be able to edit them and upload them. At uni, I could film, video, edit, and then it would take about five minutes to upload. But the internet here is so bad, it takes a good two and a half hours to upload what would be five minutes in uni. So that kind of sucks, and it just means I can't get out videos as quick as I would like. Anyway, I'm rambling. Love season four, really excited about season five. Thanks for watching.